Throughout history, many incredible discoveries have been made in the most unexpected places. These discoveries range from natural wonders to archaeological finds. If it weren't for lucky travelers, we wouldn't be able to hear about the most exciting things found in the middle of nowhere. From the depths of the ocean to the peaks of mountains, from desolate deserts to dense rainforests, these daring individuals made remarkable discoveries that captivated people from all around the world. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the most interesting things people have found in the most unexpected places. From a mysterious door in the middle of the desert to a strange pyramid, here are the 20 most incredible discoveries found in the middle of nowhere. Number 20. Mysterious Doorway in the Colorado Desert A group of Redditors shared what they found while hiking in the middle of the high desert of McGinnis Canyon's National Conservation Area in Fruta, Colorado. It was supposed to be a simple trip, a chance to escape the hustle and bustle of city life and explore the beauty of the desert. The Redditors claimed their exploration started off normally. At some point, however, the vast expanse of sand and rock seemed to stretch on forever, with no sign of life in sight. Just when they thought they had seen everything the desert had to offer, they stumbled upon something unexpected. A strange door right in the middle of nowhere. The door led to the inside of a small cavern. There were no signs of human activity near the area, aside from several letters carved into the rock near the doorway. The only notable details inside were more unintelligible carvings etched into the rock walls. The cavern was completely empty. The explorers had no idea who made the door and why exactly it was there to begin with. Do you have any theories? A secret rendezvous area? Or something else? Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now. Number 19. Massive Ball of Twine There are a lot of strange roadside attractions, and they're a nice distraction when traveling on a particularly empty road. Take, for instance, the largest ball of twine in Kansas. It's a fascinating oddity that has captured the attention of many visitors over the years. Located in Quaker City, Kansas, the twine ball is a true testament to the determination and creativity of one man, Frank Stober. The story behind this ball of twine is also incredible. In 1953, Frank Stober began collecting twine with the goal of creating the world's largest ball of twine. Over the next several decades, Stober worked tirelessly to collect twine from friends, family, and even strangers passing through town. He often spent hours unraveling and rolling the twine until the ball grew to an impressive size. Today, the ball of twine weighs over 17,000 pounds and measures over 36 feet in circumference. The Guinness Book of World Records has recognized it as the largest ball of sisal twine in the world, and it continues to be a popular tourist attraction in Cawker City. But the twine ball is more than just a quirky tourist attraction. It symbolizes the small town values and community spirit that make Kansas such a special place. For Stober, rolling the twine ball was a labor of love, a way to bring his community together and showcase their unique identity. The ball of twine in Kansas isn't the only one in the United States, but it is one of the most recognized. So watch out. Who knows, you might see something similar while driving through the countryside. Number 18. A Forgotten Ghost Town Suakin Island, located on the Red Sea coast of Sudan, is a historical site well known for its ancient ruins. This island was once a thriving port city that served as a hub for trade between the east and the west. Today, the island lies in ruins, only visited by curious travelers and explorers. The history of Suakin Island dates back to the 10th century. Around the 15th century, the city became an important port for the Red Sea trade. As time passed, Suakin Island became a melting pot of cultures and religions, with Arab, Turkish, and African influences leaving their mark on the city. The ruins' architecture is a unique blend of African, Ottoman, and Arab styles, which can be seen in the houses, mosques, and public buildings that remain standing. The most famous building on the island is the Great Mosque, which was built in the 14th century and is considered one of the most significant Islamic structures in the Red Sea region. Despite its rich history, the ruins of Suakin Island are in a state of disrepair. The island has suffered from neglect, environmental damage, and natural disasters. There's a stark difference between the island of Suakin in its heyday and the current ruins that it is today. While the streets of Suakin may be deserted and unexplored these days, 
The city's exceptional architecture and captivating history provide an intriguing window into its illustrious past for both adventurers and scholars. Although Sawakin has experienced a decline, it continues to possess significant cultural and historical value for numerous individuals. Number 17. Carhenge Stonehenge is one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world, and it's inspired a lot of artwork around the world, including the most bizarre creations. This is Carhenge. It's a unique tourist attraction located in Alliance, Nebraska. Just as its name implies, this bizarre attraction is a replica of England's Stonehenge, but instead of stone, it's made entirely of vintage cars. This quirky tribute to one of the world's most famous prehistoric monuments was built by Jim Reinders in 1987 as a memorial to his father. The sculpture consists of 38 cars, all painted in gray to resemble the stones of the original Stonehenge. The vehicles were carefully arranged and welded together to form the shape of the original monument, complete with an altar stone at the center. The cars are positioned to align with the sun on solstices and equinoxes, just like the original Stonehenge. Carhenge has become a beloved landmark in Nebraska, drawing visitors from all over the world. In addition to the main sculpture, there are also several other car sculptures in the surrounding area, such as the Ford Seasons, which are four cars painted to represent each of the seasons. The site also features a visitor center where visitors can learn more about the history and construction of Carhenge, as well as purchase souvenirs. There are also picnic tables and a playground area, making it a perfect spot for families to stop and stretch their legs on a road trip. Number 16. Just Enough Room Island Imagine riding a boat to sightsee and relax in the middle of the calm waters, and suddenly seeing a house in the middle of the river. Anyone who sees the dark red roof of this house in the middle of the river is always surprised. The Thousand Island region of the St. Lawrence River is famous for its natural beauty and stunning views. The area is home to over 1,800 islands, each with its own unique characteristics and charm. One of the most exciting islands in the region is Just Enough Room Island. The Just Enough Room Island, also known as Hub Island, is a small island that is just big enough for a single house. The island is located in Canadian waters, but is owned by the United States, making it an exciting and unique border crossing. The island is aptly named as it is so tiny that it can barely accommodate the 3,300 square foot house, which is just 3 meters wide by 12 meters long, which just barely meets New York's requirements to be qualified as an island. The quaint house was created in the 1950s by the Sizeland family, who were looking for a unique vacation spot. The family wanted to check just how much room the island had. It was then that the house was erected. Despite its small size, the island has all the amenities one would expect from a traditional house, including a living room and a bedroom. It's not really the total package, but what would you expect to find on an island where a slight misstep would have you soaking wet? Although Just Enough Island does not currently hold the Guinness World Record for the tiniest island, that current record belongs to Bishop Rock, located off the English island of Sicily. Bishop Rock is only big enough to hold a minuscule automated lighthouse, which is no longer inhabited making Just Enough Island the world's smallest inhabited island. The house on the island is a popular tourist destination, and visitors can take a boat tour of the Thousand Islands to see it up close. Number 15. Giant Fossilized Armadillo A farmer in Argentina was incredibly stumped when he discovered massive domes buried in his property. The shells were as big as Volkswagen Beetles, and for so long, the farmer was incredibly perplexed as to what precisely the shells were. Fortunately, it didn't take long for experts to determine what the shell was shortly after the farmers contacted them. It turned out that buried in his property were giant fossilized armadillos. The shells belonged to a creature known as the Glyptodon. It roamed the earth from around 5.3 million to 11,700 years ago during the Pleistocene epoch. The discovery of this giant armadillo sheds new light on the discovery of ancient mammals and provides a fascinating glimpse into the prehistoric world. The Glyptodon was a member of the Glyptodont family, which included other large armored mammals that roamed South America during the Pleistocene epoch. These creatures were similar in appearance to modern armadillos, with a hard, bony shell covering their bodies for protection. However, the Glyptodon was much larger than its modern counterparts with a shell that can measure up to 11 feet long and weigh up to 2 tons. 
The fossilized remains of the glyptodon were discovered in Buenos Aires province, Argentina, by a team of researchers from the Museum of La Plata to the National University of La Plata. The team found the remains while excavating an area that was once a prehistoric lake bed. The discovery included the animal's shell, skull, and other bones. One of the most fascinating things about this discovery is the condition of the fossils. Despite being over 10,000 years old, the bones were incredibly well preserved. This has allowed researchers to study the glyptodon in great detail, including its anatomy, diet, and behavior. Based on the shape of the glyptodon's teeth and other features of its skull, researchers believe it was an herbivore feeding on grasses and other plants. Its massive size and armored shell likely protected it from predators, which may have included saber-toothed cats and other large predators that roamed South America during the Pleistocene epoch. The discovery of the glyptodon also raises interesting questions about the extinction of these prehistoric creatures. While the exact cause of their extinction is unknown, some researchers believe that a combination of factors, including climate change and the arrival of humans, may have played a role. As humans began to hunt and destroy the habitats of these animals, their populations may have dwindled, eventually leading to their extinction. It's incredible that such a significant discovery was hiding beneath this property all along. Number 14. Utah Monolith In late 2020, the world was captivated by a series of mysterious metal monoliths that suddenly appeared in Utah and California. The first monolith was discovered by a team of wildlife biologists conducting a helicopter survey of bighorn sheep in a remote area of the Utah desert. The structure, which was approximately 10 to 12 feet tall and made of shiny reflective metal, was firmly planted in the ground and appeared to have been there for some time. Soon after news of the first monolith broke, Another one was discovered in a remote area of California's central coast. This monolith was also made of shiny reflective material and was roughly the same size as the one in Utah. Speculation about the origin and purpose of the monoliths ran wild. Some suggested that they were the work of extraterrestrial beings, while others proposed that they were elaborate art installations or viral marketing stunts. For days, the monoliths captivated most of the internet. However, just as suddenly as they appeared, the monoliths began to disappear. An unknown party removed the first monolith in Utah, and the one in California vanished soon after. In the weeks and months that followed, several explanations emerged. It was eventually revealed that the monoliths were likely the work of a group of artists known as the Most Famous Artist. The group claimed responsibility for the monoliths, stating that they were created to provoke thought and inspire wonder in a world that sometimes feels bleak and uninspiring. While the mystery of the monoliths has been solved, they remain a fascinating cultural phenomena that captured people's attention worldwide. Their sudden appearance and disappearance sparked a sense of intrigue and wonder that transcended borders and brought people together in a shared understanding of curiosity and awe. Number 13. Lac de Gapsa A lake is a welcome respite in the scorching desert, so it's no wonder that people driving through the Tunisia desert can't help but stop by Lac de Gapsa. Lac de Gapsa, nestled in the heart of the Tunisian desert, is a natural wonder that leaves visitors in awe. Its crystal-clear turquoise water, surrounded by palm trees and desert landscapes, creates a surreal and captivating oasis in the middle of the barren desert. The lake is not only a destination for relaxation and adventure, but also holds cultural and historical significance. The lake is believed to have formed more than 200,000 years ago and is fed by underground springs. The high concentration of salt in the lake makes it impossible for any plant or animal to live in it, which gives it a unique and surreal appearance. The lake is also surrounded by sandy beaches, making it a popular spot for sunbathing and swimming. The lake's history dates back centuries, as the area was inhabited by ancient civilizations such as the Romans. The Romans recognized the lake's potential for salt extraction and the ruins of their dam are still visible today. While the lake's popularity has increased in recent years, there are concerns about the impact of tourism on the area's delicate ecosystem. However, measures have been taken to promote sustainable tourism practices and protect the lake's limited resources. Number 12. The Whale Stones A good hike is incredibly rewarding, so if there's a surprise waiting for you at the very top, the Mekong River is one of the most essential and iconic waterways in Southeast Asia. Spanning over 4,900 kilometers and flowing through six countries, it's not only a crucial source of water for millions of people, 
but also a vital ecosystem that supports a diverse range of plant and animal species. Surrounding this river are several of the most incredible natural attractions in the world. One is the Three Whale Stones, locally known as Hin Samwan. This rock formed more than 75 million years ago, and today the majestic rock formations soar near the edge of the mountains and look like a family of whales rising through the ocean of trees. The Three Whale Stones is not only a beautiful landmark, but it's also of great cultural significance to the local community. The whale has long been considered a symbol of good luck and prosperity in Thai culture, and many locals believe that the Three Whale Stone brings good luck to those who visit it. Number 11. The Loneliest House in the World The world is full of fascinating and remote locations, but few are as intriguing as the lone house on the island of Elide. Located off the southern coast of Iceland, Elide is a small rocky island with a single home perched atop a grassy hill. Who would want to build a house in the middle of an island in the middle of nowhere? Some people had theories as to why exactly the house was built in such a remote location in the first place. Several suggested it was supposed to be a safe haven for the zombie apocalypse, while some say it was a billionaire's fun project. The house's origins are shrouded in mystery, but it's believed to have been built in the 1950s by a wealthy Icelandic family. The house was used as a hunting lodge for many years, but eventually, the family stopped visiting the island and the house fell into disrepair. Despite its remote location, the house on Elide has become something of a tourist attraction, with visitors from all over the world making the journey to see the solitary structure. The island is uninhabited, and the only way to reach it is by boat or helicopter. The house on Elide is a simple single-story structure with a sloping roof and white walls. It's surrounded by a small garden, which is enclosed by a low stone wall. The house has no electricity or running water and is only accessible by a steep winding staircase. Despite its isolation, the house on Elide is not entirely deserted. Recently, it's been used as a retreat for artists, writers, and other creative types looking for solitude and inspiration. The house's remote location and stunning views of the surrounding sea and mountains make it an ideal place for those seeking peace and quiet. Would you be willing to stay in this house for a couple of weeks? alone and isolated from the rest of the world? Number 10. A Prada Store A luxury store is something you wouldn't expect to see right in the middle of the scorching hot desert. And yet, for some strange reason, Prada Marfa exists. Prada Marfa is a unique art installation in the middle of the West Texas desert. The structure is a life-size replica of a Prada boutique, complete with genuine Prada shoes and handbags displayed in the window. However, the store is not operational, and the door cannot be opened, making it a unique and thought-provoking work of art. The installation was created in 2005 by artist Michael Elmgreen and Ingar Dragset as a commentary on consumer culture and the fashion industry. The store is located on a desolate stretch of highway, miles from the nearest town, and is designed to slowly decay over time, eventually becoming a ruin in the desert landscape. Despite its remote location, Prada Marfa has become a popular destination for tourists and art lovers from all over the world. The stark contrast between the luxury items on display and the barren desert landscape create a surreal and otherworldly experience for visitors. The installation has also sparked debates about the nature of art and its relationship to commerce. Some see Prada Marfa as a clever critique of the fashion industry. In contrast, others view it as a cynical marketing ploy designed to capitalize on the art world's fascination with conceptual art. Regardless of one's interpretation of the installation, there's no denying its impact on contemporary art culture. Prada Marfa has become an iconic symbol of the intersection between art, fashion, and consumerism, and has inspired countless artists and designers to explore similar themes in their work. Number 9. Doll's Head Trail the Doll's Head Trail is a unique and unusual outdoor art installation in Constitution Lakes Park in Atlanta, Georgia. The trail is named after the countless doll heads that litter the path, which has been transformed into whimsical and eerie sculptures by the park's visitors. This interesting trail was started by artist Joel Slayton in 2011, who began collecting discarded doll heads and other objects from around the park and using them to create bizarre and surreal sculptures. Slayton's goal was to transform the debris into something beautiful and thought-provoking, while also drawing attention to the problem of litter and pollution in the park. Today, 
The Doll's Head Trail has become a popular destination for tourists and locals alike, with visitors coming from all over the world to see the strange and haunting sculptures that line the path. The sculptures range from whimsical to macabre and are made from various materials, including broken glass, rusty nails, and discarded toys. The park is also encouraging its visitors to create their own marks using things around the park. However, littering and destroying the existing attractions are forbidden. Do you think you'd be willing to take a walk on this trail? Perhaps, if you're into bizarre attractions, this is something you'd be interested in. Number 8. The Center of the World Have you ever wondered where the middle of the world is exactly? If you're curious, you might want to check out the center of the world. Located only a few miles from Mexico and Arizona, the center of the world in Felicity, California is a unique and fascinating landmark just off of Interstate 8 near the California-Arizona border. The site is marked by a large bronze pyramid, which sits atop a concrete pedestal and is inscribed with the words, Center of the World. The center of the world was created by artist Jacques-André Estelle, who purchased the land in 1985, intending to build a monument to world peace. Istel, who had previously served as a paratrooper during and had worked as a United Nations ambassador, believed that a symbol of global unity was needed to counter the divisions and conflicts that plague our world. Today, the center of the world has become a popular destination for tourists and travelers who come from all over the world to stand at the exact point that Istel believes to be the center of the world. The site features several other attractions, including a museum dedicated to Istel's life and work, a chapel, and a gift shop selling souvenirs and other items. Despite its popularity, the center of the world remains a controversial site among geographers and scientists. Many experts believe that the true center of the world cannot be pinpointed with such precision and that any attempt to do so is based more on myth and legend than on scientific fact. However, the significance of the center of the world lies not in its scientific accuracy, but in its symbolic value as a site that promotes peace, unity, and understanding among people of all backgrounds and cultures. By standing at the center of the world, visitors are reminded of our shared humanity and the importance of coming together to build a more peaceful and equitable world. Number 7. The Oregon Vortex Imagine seeing a house surrounded by dense woodland, and upon entering, gravity suddenly stops making sense. This is the Oregon Vortex, one of the most perplexing locations in the entire world. The site is known for its unusual gravitational and magnetic forces, which seem to defy the laws of physics and challenge the way we understand the world around us. The Oregon Vortex was first discovered by settlers in the late 19th century, who noticed that their wagons and other objects seemed to roll uphill rather than downhill when placed on the ground. Over the years, the site has become a popular destination for tourists and researchers who come from all over the world to study the strange and unexplained phenomena that occur there. One of the most striking features of the Oregon Vortex is the House of Mystery, a wooden cabin built at a 17-degree angle, which seems to defy gravity by making people feel as though they're standing at an angle when they enter the house. Visitors report feeling dizzy, disoriented, and even nauseous when inside the house, which seems to be affected by some unknown force that warps space and time. Another notable feature of the Oregon Vortex is the Slanting Shack, a small cabin that appears to be tilted at an impossible angle, yet manages to stay upright. Visitors who enter the shack report feeling as though they're standing at an angle, even though their eyes tell them the room is level. Despite extensive research and testing, Scientists have been unable to explain the strange phenomena at the Oregon Vortex. Some theories suggest the site is located on a magnetic anomaly, while others point to underground streams or geological formations. Number 6. Secret Tunnels The Edstall's Tunnels, located in London, England, is a series of underground tunnels shrouded in mystery and legend. The tunnels were constructed in the 19th century as part of a more extensive network of underground passages used for various purposes, including transportation, storage, and communication. The Edstall's tunnels are named after the Edstall family, who owned a nearby farm in the 19th century. According to legend, the Edstalls used the tunnels to smuggle goods and people in and out of the city and were rumored to be involved in various illegal activities. Over the years, the tunnels have become associated with various ghost stories and paranormal activity, with many people claiming to have seen or heard strange things while exploring the tunnels. 
Some reports suggest that the tunnels are haunted by the spirits of people who died there, while others suggest that the tunnels are home to a variety of supernatural creatures. Despite the legends and rumors surrounding the Edstall's tunnels, the truth about their origins and purpose remains shrouded in mystery. Some experts believe that the government used the tunnels for various purposes, including as bomb shelters during while others suggest that criminals and smugglers have used them for illegal activities. Today, the Edstall's tunnels remain a popular destination for urban explorers, and adventure seekers are drawn to their dark and mysterious atmosphere. While there may be some truth to the legends and rumors surrounding the tunnels, it's clear that they hold an important place in the history and culture of London and continue to capture the imagination of people from all over the world. Number 5. Staircase in the Forest Amid many forests around the world, there are strange staircases that lead to nowhere. These staircases are typically made of concrete and are found in remote, inaccessible areas. The strangeness of these staircases has piqued the curiosity of many, prompting theories and legends about their origins and purpose. There are many theories and legends surrounding these strange staircases. Some believe that aliens built them, while others think that ancient civilizations constructed them. Still others believe that they're the remnants of abandoned buildings or monuments that were once located in the forest. While the origin of some of these strange staircases may have been uncovered, their mystery and intrigue continue to capture the imagination of those who come across them. Have you ever seen anything like this while exploring the woods near your home? Number 4. World's Largest Teapot Located in the small town of Chester, West Virginia, stands a towering roadside attraction that has become a beloved landmark and a symbol of the town's history and culture, the world's largest teapot. This 14-foot tall teapot has become an iconic attraction that draws in visitors from all over the world. The teapot was first built in the 1930s by the Hires Root Beer Company as a promotional tool to attract customers. At the time, the town of Chester was a popular stop for motorists traveling on Route 30 and the teapot was designed to draw in those passing through. The original teapot was constructed from sheet metal and was painted with a red handle and spout, resembling a traditional teapot. Over the years, the teapot underwent several renovations and repairs, each time becoming more and more of an attraction. In the 1980s, the teapot was repainted yellow and given a new spout and handle. In the early 2000s, the teapot was in danger of being torn down due to its deteriorating condition. However, a group of local residents rallied to save it and raised money for further renovations, ensuring its place in Chester's history. Number 3. Abandoned Boot House Have you ever heard about the fairy tale of the old lady living in the shoe? Well, that fairy tale just might be a real thing. In the Isle of Wight in the south of England is a strange shoe, not just an ordinary one, but a humongous one with windows, doors, and a roof. No one knows who built the shoe and why, but it's definitely a great attraction right in the middle of the woods. Number 2. Crop Circles Crop circles have long been a source of fascination and intrigue in England, with these intricate designs appearing mysteriously in fields across the countryside. These formations are created by flattening crops, typically wheat or barley, into elaborate geometric patterns, often overnight and without any apparent explanation. While some have dismissed these crop circles as hoaxes or the work of pranksters, others believe that they're evidence of extraterrestrial activity or some other paranormal phenomena. These strange patterns are quite fascinating, and luckily we've recently discovered their origin. It's quite anticlimactic, but it's still pretty impressive. It turns out that talented artists create these unique designs overnight. And now, it's time for today's topic. This ranch owner just made a chilling discovery inside this ravine in the middle of nowhere. A ranch owner was checking out his property when he stumbled upon an old car. Upon further inspection, he realized he had found something incredibly horrifying. Inside the car were skeletal remains. The car, which appeared to be a vintage model, was severely damaged and covered in debris. It had been in the ravine for an unknown period of time, and the remains were badly decomposed. Investigators have not yet determined the deceased identity, but they believe the car may have been there for several years. The discovery of the skeletal remains has raised questions about how the car ended up in the ravine and whether foul play was involved. Investigators are currently working to gather any information that may help them identify the victim and shed light on what may have happened. 
As always, comment down below with the hashtag today's topic and let us know your opinion about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 1. Pyramid in Scotland Pyramids are perhaps one of the most iconic and enduring symbols of ancient civilizations, particularly Egypt and Mesoamerica. These massive structures, with their distinctive triangular shape and intricate architectural features, continue to fascinate and inspire people worldwide. Although they're quite common, it's strange to see one in the middle of the forest in Scotland. Hidden away in the rugged wilderness of Cairngorms National Park in the Scottish Highlands lies a secret pyramid that has been shrouded in mystery and intrigue for decades. This enigmatic structure, known as the Cairngorms Pyramid, or the Pyramid of Cairngorms, is one of Scotland's most unusual and least understood landmarks. The pyramid is situated on a remote hillside, surrounded by dense forest and rugged terrain. One of the most intriguing aspects of the pyramid is its location. The hillside on which it stands is steep and rugged, with no signs of habitation or human activity. Some have speculated that the pyramid may have been part of a more significant, now lost, monument or temple complex, while others have suggested that it may have been used for astronomical observations, or even as a secret meeting place for a clandestine society. Despite its mysterious origins, the Cairngorms Pyramid has attracted a steady stream of visitors over the years. Drawn in by its enigmatic allure and the stunning natural beauty of the surrounding landscape, have you also found anything interesting in the middle of nowhere? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.